Hey guys, Kill Lancer here. Once another Kill Lancer Gaming. Don't forget the bell button and the subscribe button to get the notifications to my channel. Alright guys, let's dive into this video. Um, I bought Demon X Machina for uh, you know, uh, the PC. I bought it off Steam. And I have to say, this game is visually impressing on the PC. Um, like I said before, the textures weren't that good on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch just, just doesn't have the power to display this game. And I've seen something very, very amazing. This game is at 200 frames per second. I had no idea was something like that even exist existed. And um, uh, I, I more so played the beginning part of this game. Um, it was certain things that I noticed that uh, that that wasn't in the demo when I first played the demo to this game, like a cinematic after you come back um, from the first mission. Um, cust was a character customization is pretty cool. Um, I went back and created my character. Of course, you can't transfer characters from the Switch version and stuff. Um, as I was creating my character, I've seen a lot of um, different things that I didn't have um, the option to choose when I first started uh, creating my character. I also um, seen that the, uh, when it came down to my uh, skin tones, the skin, the skin tone textures were a lot better on this thing than on the Nintendo uh, Switch. Um, what I did for my character this time, I gave my character dreads. Uh, it wasn't that hard to make a black guy on here. This time I made a black guy. The last time I think I believe I made an Asian guy. Um, making a black character was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. It was pretty easy to do. Uh, also, uh, I like the, the eye color selection. And if I'm right, I think you can put cybernetic parts on your characters like enhancements later on as you progress through the story. I really don't want to put cybernetic parts on my character because I still want my character to, to still have some semblance of being human. And I, I just I don't really like that aspect right there. If you could hide it, I wish you could, but I'm not sure if you can. But guys, if you know something that I don't know, correct me on that um, in the comment section below. Uh, also, um, I had the choice of choosing a, a metallic uh, part for my character when it came down to a suit, uh, which is cool. I liked it, all the details that I can put uh, uh, color-wise onto my suit. Um, I wound up checking out some of the facility. I didn't walk around the whole facility because... I'm going to wait till other things is open before I just start walking around the facility. Uh, I have to say that looking at the mech and, and these frames and then the, and the, the color textures are all vibrant. They're all, they're all like enhanced. And I'm just like looking at this game in Marvel. Like this game is just freaking phenomenal. Like I can't believe this. This, this game looks this way. It's nothing but a, a up-to-dated armor core in my opinion. Um, also guys... When it comes down to this game as well, uh, I started finding out um, that they want to fix in some of the AI, uh, the AI in this game, which I'm happy that they fixed some of it to an extent. Uh, I'm not sure how, like how far they got into fixing the game, and when it comes down to the enemy, the enemy mobs and stuff like that. But I hope it, I hope it's done uh, significantly that I can tell um, based off of um, me playing the, the demo and seeing other people play. Um, the real, the the real version of the game and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, of course the combat uh, is high, is is is, uh, is high speed. Um, it's fun. You get multiple different weapons that you can uh, put onto your mech. Also, guys, if you buy this off Steam, if you pre-ordered it, you get a, a bunch of DLC uh, stuff with this game. Also, I heard uh, at the same time you get other DLC that you get from the Nintendo Switch as well. Um, I'm not sure if you get it right away. Um, when you pre-order it, um, maybe they might drop the DLC at different times. I don't know. Don't quote me on this, guys. But um, if the DLC is already in the game, that'd be nice too. Instead of me having to go out and purchase it, since this game was already released already. I think this. I believe this game came out in September of 2019. So I think it would be kind of foolish for them to try to sell us DLC um, as uh, with this game being already released already. And the DLC that is released for this game. Um, I want to say uh, uh, Eureka 7, the Nirvash, is, uh, is, is, uh, is uh, Arsenal in this game. And also the Lancelot from Cool Geass um, is, um, is an Arsenal in this game. But also you get the characters like clothes for your character um, that you can put on to them and stuff like that. Most likely I'm not going to use that. I will probably just create other Arsenals and stuff like that and use those DLC um, mechas, guys. As you can... As you guys can tell, I'm a big Mecha fan, guys. So, I'm going to be getting my fiend on. Um, the storyline, um, like I said before, is nothing special. 
Um, it's nothing special about the storyline. Um, I'm pretty much just reading through it and whatnot, and you know, just getting my enjoyment from this game. Um, also, guys, I want to let you guys know this game has, uh, from what I've from what I've read, PVP. So it it, it has that that armor core thing, like I said before, because armor core for the PlayStation had PVP, and then the other armor cores, the other later uh, renditions of armor core as well had PV, PVP, and you have PVE as well, guys. Uh, also, the cool thing is they have uh, content where you guys can play uh, a four-man team against uh, uh, the, uh, was it, uh, uh, other enemies, like the, uh, other mob enemy, enemies and stuff like that. I'm hoping my brother uh, DX Strike and my brother Mooglenor get this game. If not, I'm going to enjoy this game to myself. Like I said before, mega games are my thing. Uh, when it comes down to the customization of um, the arsenals, they are very, very intricate when it comes down to the colors. And I've seen some nice builds when it comes down to this game. I've seen some nice builds of Arsenals, guys. And um, I've seen some that almost look like doggone Gundams. I've seen some that, that look like uh, mechs from Cold Geass. I've seen some that look like Escafoni doggone uh, Arsenals. I've seen some Evangelion-looking Arsenals, guys. What an amazing system to create your own particular type of mech and your way the way you want to create it. Um... When it comes down to your stats of your of your mecha and your weight, you have to watch that when you create um, these these uh, giant but uh, these giant mechs. Um, I think that you could get weighed down just like the, the gun the armor core system, and just like uh, the Gundam Breaker system as well. Which Gundam Gundam Breaker is um, not a good game to have. I just wish they do a Gundam Build Fighter game and just call it a freaking day. But anyway, guys, that's the video right there. Don't forget the bell button, the subscribe button to get notifications to my channel. Also, guys, I want to let you guys know that I will be purchasing uh, Starlinks um, for Steam. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'm going to start doing videos on that. Um, i got to plan out what type of videos I'm going to do for it. Maybe I might go back to finishing um, uh, uh, my Space Weapon series. Well, actually, since I have to start over, um, I have to build my way up to finishing that series, guys. So hold, hold tight for Starlinks lovers, guys. Um, I will be coming out with content for that for the PC and better graphics. Than the PS2 and then the, and the uh, Nintendo Switch. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. But also at the same time, I'm going to go back and play my Switch version of Starlink's Battle for Atlas um, because I still have to play and finish the Star Fox storyline as well, guys. All right, that's uh, that's Kill Lancer, and uh, we got more.